changes and movements. And we are all aware of the cycles with everything begins and an end. Every human being, most creatures as well, lend themselves, yield to this ever-changing ebb and flow. Those who have reflectiveness, ability to meditate, consider, question as to what is it all about, what is this space of time, we find that we are all, each one of us, is within that box which is defined by space and time. And that its flavor changes a lot because there is an evolution. Things that were considered important 5,000 years ago are almost forgotten now. Things or values which were considered by people most important a few hundred years ago are almost replaced by something else. We are habitual beings and one habit leads to the other and on and on until we reach a point that we can't even connect easily with the past or with history, let alone prehistory. So this is the reality of the situation. There is an apparent drift in time, movement and change. Every day is different to the day before, and yet every moment has a similarity with the moment before. Its nature is such that it can stretch and fill what you consider as time. The metaphor of the fall of Adam, which many world religions have, that he was in perfect paradise, but he started questioning, what is eternity? And that's to do with time. Time cannot be on its own, so it has to be within space. That is the four dimensional reality. So if you are in the infinite realm of non-space, non-time, the perfect garden, then you don't know what eternity is because you are within it. So in order to know the perfect or the eternal or the continuous or that which is boundless, you need to experience that which is bounded. You need to experience sweetness through contrasted by bitterness, good and bad, so duality. Therefore, if you like the metaphoric fall of Adam or descent of Adam from the perfect cardinic state of paradise to the dualities of the world. We have emerged from thousands of years of our ancestral origins, original people, who 10,000 years ago may not have been even half a million on earth. And the main concern was survival, 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 which is to eat, procreate, and continue until we filled up the earth. Space and time is the second womb. The first womb was the mother's also confined in space and time. Then you are born into the earthly space and time. And every one of us struggles to go as far as we can, breaking, if you like, boundaries and borders to know what is beyond space, what is beyond time. So we have emerged from a history of incremental changes and yearnings to know what is beyond space and time. We are in a different zone of time nowadays. It's very different in many ways to what it was in the past, but very similar to what it was in the past, in that we all want to know what is that which is eternal, constant, perpetual.